Okay, how you doing? My name is Chris Collins, part of the distance education department here at Central Virginia Community College. And today I'm going to show you Blackboard Collaborate. Okay? Blackboard Collaborate is basically just a new way to deliver classes. It's interactive, very interactive. I like to say it's sort of like a online class on steroids. And that's, I'm not taking anything away from online classes because I do believe they are tailor-made for specific students. And Collaborate is the same way. It's tailor-made for specific students. So I'm just going to show you how to get in here, okay? First off, we're going to go to our Blackboard page, and usually it's going to be under Online Meeting Room. So from here you can see we have Scheduled Sessions, and then we have Recordings. These are two different tabs. The Recordings tab, that's where all your previously recorded sessions are going to be held. So that pretty much handles one uh, great thing about Collaborate, and it highlights the fact that Collaborate, every session can be recorded, so you can use this for different things. So these are where your sessions are going to be. You're going to have usually one session, and I'm just going to click on that, and I'm going to hit Join Room, and I'm going to open it and it's going to go through the process and open this thing up. Okay, we see Blackboard Collaborate coming up there. Alright, so basically this is what Collaborate looks like here. And if I hit the talk button, then everyone can hear me now, okay? So I can also hit the video button and I can be seen. So not only can my students hear me, but they can see me in real time, okay? Now, I think that's beneficial. This is basically a virtual classroom, okay? So if you look here, you've got this whiteboard area. This is where everything is presented. This is where all the material is going to be presented. Uh, you can upload pretty much anything, Word documents, uh, PowerPoints, etc. Not only can you do that, but you can share your desktop. So let's say I share my desktop and I'm going to move some things around. Let's say I share my desktop and I'm a math instructor. I can come here on my symposium and I can write math problems. I can write math problems all day and my students can see them here in real time. If they have a question, all they have to do is just ask me, hey, you know, what about this math problem here? Can you show me how to do that? And I can do it, okay? So I can share that all day if I need to. But I can also come here and pull up a website. And you know, I can take people through a website. If they want to see a certain thing that's on a certain website, I can share that. I can share anything that's on my desktop that I want to. Okay? And I can also hide stuff if I need to. And, you know, it's basically just you're managing your desktop here. And you're showing your students everything they need to see. So let's uh, bounce back here and I'll show you some of the bells and whistles associated with Collaborate. Okay, I showed you the talk button and the video button. You have your volumes where you can increase your volume, uh, change that if you need to. Underneath participants, this is where everyone that's in the session is gonna be located. Okay, so right now I have three participants. Any of those participants can highlight an emoticon and put an emoticon, you know, beside their name, so I can kind of get an idea of where their head's at a little bit, you know. It's 
not really a whole lot with that. It's just one of those little cute things they added to it. You can also hit step away. And this is helpful if you need to step away from the session for a second. Let's say you need to take a phone call or you need to use the restroom. You hit the away button and the instructor will see it. And that way they won't waste time wondering where you are. When they come back, they hit the away button to come back. You also have the raise your hand button. Now if you raise your hand here, you can see there on the screen that there's a sequential number that pops up right beside your name. So that helps, that lets the instructor know that they have a question, that one of the students has a question. And it also lists in order, so that can be, you know, taken, they, each question can be taken in order, in other words. So that's helpful, and the instructor also hears a ding in their ear, so that allows them and lets them know that they have a question. Okay, so we also have the polling device. With this device, a student can select either A, B, C, D, or E, or we can set it up to where it shows a green check or a red X. This kind of helps the instructor, you know, keep the students involved in the class, even though there's, there's separation there. There really isn't because we're here in this virtual classroom. Underneath that, you have the chat window. You can type in anything, hit enter, and it pops up down here underneath the chat. This is helpful because this is another way, this is another option for us to be able to communicate with each other. So there's at least three options on how to communicate with each other. You can chat like we just did. You can talk over the mic and the headset like we did. Or you can actually go here on the whiteboard and click on one of these A's and you can communicate. Yeah. And you can move it around, you know, whatnot. Anybody can do this if they are given the privilege to do it. Uh, you can also write on this. Um, I'm not really a big fan of just writing with the mouse. So that's where the symposium comes in and you can write a whole lot better. So that is an option. I can also come in and take all this away if I need to. Okay, uh, there's also some things here that you can do that are kind of cool, like we could place a picture and let's say we wanted to Let's say we were teaching a geography class, you know, and here you go, here's the world map. You can come in here and you can highlight specific areas if you need to. Or, as an instructor, I could write on top of this area here. So you can get specific. Uh, let's see. I can also share, not only can I load my content as an instructor, I can load PowerPoints and Word documents if I need to, but I can also share my desktop. And like I said earlier, I showed you, you know, I can share my whiteboard here that I can write anything on. anything I want. Okay, I can do that if I want. Or I can go to my Blackboard account and I can pull up something that I can show students. So let's say I'm an instructor and we need to go over the syllabus on the first day of class. Here we go. All I do is just go in and pull it up. And as you see, it pops up. 
I can zoom in on all this if I need to and make it larger, or I can zoom out. That way it's legible. I can go through and I can literally highlight certain things about my own syllabus. This is communication. This is being interactive. And this is what Blackboard Collaborate is all about. So one other cool thing that I can do is I can take my students on a web tour. Or as a student, I can take the rest of the class on a web tour. This is really handy for videos because they're not really buffered in this mode. It's pretty seamless. So let's see. CBCC website, but I don't think that's really an option, but you can pull it up, you just have to do it a different way. But anyway, you can share videos, okay? So any of these videos that I wanted to click on, I can click on and show. I just, for copyright reasons, I'll leave that alone. But you can show the videos, and you can also post the URL you can publish the URL to chat so they can click on the actual URL link so that way there's if they need to go back and look at it later they can do that okay one of the great functions that I like about Blackboard Collaborate is the fact that you can record everything. You can record your session at the very beginning just by hitting start or you can hit record here. And this is really helpful because you're always going to have absences. So this is a great way to keep students up to date. I mean you've got snow days, you've got sick days, etc. People are always going to miss class. That's just one of those things you have to accept. There's really no excuse. If you can record your sessions, then a student can go back at any time and I can just show you exactly where it is. And you would click on this recordings tab. And you'll see here your recordings are listed and not only can you view them in Blackboard Collaborate like they would be seen but you should you can also convert them to mp4 format which is pretty standard video format and you can also convert them to an mp3 format which is an audio format which might not work for every class but if there's no visual uh, aspect of the lecture, you can keep going and you can make it a, an audio format that students can listen to. And it can be used specifically for that if you want. So while we're talking about the uses, let me just say that not only can you teach a class through Blackboard Collaborate, or not only can you learn or be involved, be a student in a class through Blackboard Collaborate, but you can also set up office hours as an instructor. And you can do this from your house, okay? You don't have to come to work. You know, you can take your work at home and do it at home. And you can throw yourself out there to the students. They can take the class from home. And there's really no excuses. You know, even with snow days, hey, if everybody has power, you know, why not have class? You can do it at home. Uh, another good use for Blackboard Collaborate is just to record your lectures. Like, even if you're not even a, a professor or, I'm sorry, <laughs> even if you're not teaching through Blackboard Collaborate, you can still use the software as a way to capture 
your lectures and then you can put them on your Blackboard page or you can upload it to YouTube or whatever you want to do. You can use the software for that also. So there are different uses for it. Um, let me just say that we offer Blackboard Collaborate training before every semester. So we've got some dates coming up in uh, for the summer 2015 uh, semester. And we offer about, looks like five sessions in a two day period. So it's one of those things, if you're ever interested, we can always do one-on-one -on -one training, even if it's during the middle of the semester. You know, we can do it. We're here to help out, and we're here to offer this to the students and the faculty. Uh, the sessions are listed, just so you know. Not only can you, you can actually go online to the distance education page under the CVCC website. Click on distance education and here you see the Blackboard training dates. Um, click on Blackboard Collaborate and it's going to have everything you need for you there. And uh, just to let you know, if you ever are interested in Blackboard Collaborate and you know you want to meet with us and figure out more about it or see how it could work for you, just give us a call, 434-832-7745 or 434-832-7743. And that's pretty much it, but I appreciate you checking out Blackboard Collaborate and hopefully we'll see you in the near future. Thank you.